In this video, we're going to use StockCrunch to make a confidence interval using t-statistics. Let's focus on problem number 13. So it says a politician wants to estimate the mean annual salary of college administrators in California. It then goes on to say that a sample of 57 of these administrators from California showed a sample mean of that, 55421, and a sample standard deviation of 6781. It's asking for a 90% confidence interval for the population mean. So we want to find a confidence interval for the mean. So we have to make a choice between Z statistics and T statistics. Because we have the sample standard deviation, we're going to use T. So over here where it says stat, all you do is you left click on it, and then you go down to T stats, and then we have one sample, and it's with summary. So I'm going to left click here on with summary. So again, it's stat, t, one sample with summary. Then when you get here, it's asking for the sample mean. So you go back to the question and you just carefully look for the information. So here it is. Sample mean is 55421. So 55421. The sample standard deviation is 6781. So 6 seven eight one and the sample size is 55 it says a sample of 57 so sorry 57 not 55 57 then you click on confidence interval and do we have to change it yeah it looks like we do 90 percent confidence intervals so we have to change it to 0 0.90 so everything looks okay and i guess you just click compute now and the magic happens and boom there it is there is the lower limit, $53,918.80 pennies, if you round, and then $56,923.20 pennies, uh, if you round. So there's your lower limit right there, and there's your upper limit over here on the right. So I hope that made sense.